Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about a truth as old as time itself, yet as fresh as the morning dew. The undeniable fact that for every achievement, for every piece of success, for every moment of joy, there is a price to be paid. You must pay the price. Now, this isn't about money. No, it's about something far more valuable. It's about the currency of effort, time, dedication, and the will to push through when every fiber of your being says, I've had enough. Have you ever asked yourself what makes the difference in the quality of people's lives? Why do some seem to effortlessly climb the mountains of their dreams, reaching peaks they were once only able to stare at from the valley below, while others stand still, their dreams like stars, beautiful yet forever out of reach? The answer, my friends, lies in the willingness to pay the price. Now, I know what you might be thinking. What exactly is this price? I'm glad you asked. It's the late night spent mastering your craft when the world sleeps in comfort. It's the early mornings when the dawn is yet to break and you rise to greet your ambitions. It's the choice to say no to immediate pleasures for the sake of long-term achievements. It's the relentless pursuit of growth even when growth demands discomfort. Consider for a moment the oak tree. It starts as a small acorn, seemingly insignificant, buried under the weight of the earth. Yet within it lies a potential mightier than its shell suggests. For it to reach towards the heavens, to become the majestic oak we admire, it must break free from its confines. It pays the price of growth with patience and perseverance through storms and seasons never ceasing to push upwards and outwards. So I ask you, are you willing to be like the oak? Are you prepared to invest the effort, to dedicate the time, to endure the pain, and to embrace the sacrifices required to turn your dreams into your reality? This, my friends, is the price we must all decide to pay. Now, let's not sugarcoat it. Paying the price is no easy feat. There will be days when your energy falters, when your spirit wanes and when your resolve is tested, you might even question if it's worth it. To that, I'd I say, look around at those who've achieved greatness in any field. Was it handed to them? Did they find success like a four-leaf clover at their feet? No, they paid the price in full up front and without a discount. And here's the beautiful part. The price is not a punishment. It's an investment, an investment in yourself in your future, in the legacy you wish to leave behind. Every step taken in the direction of your dreams, no matter how small, is a payment towards a life of fulfillment. Remember, the most valuable assets you have at your disposal are your time, your mind, and your willpower. So, how do you start? Begin with a commitment. A commitment to excellence, to never settling for less than your best. Define what success looks like for you. Not your neighbor, not your friends, not society's picture of success, but yours. And once you have that vision clear in your mind, embrace the work required to make it a reality. Reflect on this. In the grand tapestry of your life, what patterns do you wish to weave? What colors do you want to shine through? The threads of our lives are dyed in the colors of our actions and choices. So, Choose actions that align with your highest aspirations. Make choices that reflect your unwavering commitment to your dreams. As we move forward today, I encourage you to think deeply about the price you're willing to pay for the dreams you hold dear. Understand that the path to achievement is paved with trials, but also with triumphs. Know that each challenge overcome is a deposit in your bank of resilience. Each failure a lesson in persistence and every sacrifice a step closer to your summit. Let us embark on this path, not with trepidation, but with determination, not with fear, but with courage, knowing that the price paid in dedication and hard work is the key that unlocks the door to our highest potential. To truly pay the price, you must first embrace discipline. Discipline is the bridge between your goals and their achievement, it's easy to be excited in the beginning when your dream is fresh in your mind, shining brightly, full of promise. But as time goes on, that shine might begin to dim under the weight of daily responsibilities and unforeseen challenges. That's where discipline comes into play. 
It's about doing what needs to be done, even when you don't feel like it, especially. But let me ask you, have you ever felt the satisfaction of completing a task that required every ounce of your willpower to start? There's a certain sweetness in the exhaustion that comes from hard work, a unique fulfillment in looking back at the hurdles you've overcome. That, my friends, is the reward of discipline. It compounds like interest, turning small actions into massive achievements over time. Now let's talk about resilience. Life in its infinite wisdom will test you. It will throw obstacles in your path that seem insurmountable. You'll face setbacks, rejections, and failures. Yes, failures, but here's what I want you to remember. Failure is not the opposite of success. It's a part of it. Every failure carries with it the seed of an equivalent or greater benefit. The question is, are you willing to look for it? Are you prepared to learn, adapt, and try again? Resilience is standing in the face of adversity and saying, I am stronger than this challenge. I will learn from this. I will grow. It's about understanding that every no brings you one step closer to a yes. That every closed door may just lead you to a path you would have missed otherwise. This resilience, this unwavering faith in your journey, is a price worth paying. And what about the joy of learning? Ah, the endless pursuit of knowledge, the hunger to know more today than you did yesterday, to be better tomorrow than you are today. This is a price that demands you remain a perpetual student, humble in the awareness that no matter how much you know, there's always more to learn. It's finding delight in the discovery of new ideas, new skills. It's understanding that the moment you stop learning is the moment you stop growing. Lastly, let's talk about the ultimate price, the joy of achieving your dreams. Imagine for a moment reaching that peak you've been climbing towards, feeling the weight of your sacrifices, your discipline, your resilience, and your learning fuse into a moment of pure triumph. This joy isn't just about the achievement itself. It's about who you've become in the process, the strength you've discovered within yourself, the confidence you've built, and the knowledge that no dream will ever be too big for you to chase. So as we stand here today on the brink of possibility, I urge you to ask yourself, what price am I willing to pay for my dreams? Am I ready to embrace discipline, to build resilience, to commit to lifelong learning, and to savor the joy of achievement? Remember, the price may be steep, but the rewards are immeasurable. In our expedition towards achieving our dreams, embracing challenges head-on is not just an option. It's a necessity. Why? You might ask. Because challenges are not merely obstacles in our path. They are opportunities to grow, to stretch beyond our perceived limits, and to mold ourselves into the individuals capable of conquering our aspirations. The price of facing challenges is steep, filled with uncertainty and discomfort, yet it's a currency that enriches our journey with invaluable lessons and unmatched strength. Consider for a moment the metaphor of the butterfly. Before it can soar in all its splendor, it must first struggle to break free from the confines of its cocoon. This struggle, though seemingly cruel, is essential. Without it, the butterfly would never develop the strength needed for survival. Similarly, the challenges you face are not barriers to your success, but are, in fact, shaping you into the person who will achieve those very successes. The price, then, is the struggle, the perseverance, and the refusal to back down in the face of adversity. Yet, what of patience in this journey? Ah, patience. The silent sentinel that guards the gates of success. In a world that prizes speed and immediate results, patience stands as a testament to the power of enduring commitment. Paying the price for your dreams often means walking a path paved with slow progress and painstaking setbacks. It's about planting a tree under whose shade you may never sit, understanding that the fruits of your labor will one day flourish, perhaps even beyond your time. Patience teaches us to appreciate the journey, to find joy in the gradual unfolding of our capabilities, and to trust in the timing of our lives. It asks of us to keep watering the seeds of our dreams without knowing exactly when they will sprout. This price, the price of patience, 
is perhaps one of the hardest to pay. It demands faith in the unseen, belief in the process, and trust in ourselves. But how do we cultivate such patience? Start by setting your sights, not just on the destination, but on each step of the journey. Celebrate the small victories, learn from the setbacks, and remind yourself that great achievements are not born overnight. They are the culmination of consistent effort, unwavering faith, and, yes, patient endurance. And as you embark on this journey, equipped with discipline, resilience, a love for learning, and an embrace of challenges and patience. Remember this, the ultimate price you pay is not measured by the struggles you endure, but by the depth of satisfaction you find in reaching your pinnacle. It's measured in the moments when you realize that every sacrifice was worth it, every challenge was a teacher, and every step was a story of your unwavering commitment to your dreams. As we journey forward, Embracing the essence of patience and the rigor of challenges, let's unfold another layer of our expedition toward greatness. This layer speaks to the heart of every dreamer, every striver, and every individual who dares to look beyond the horizon. It's about the power of vision and the relentless pursuit of purpose. Vision, my friends, is the beacon that guides us through the darkest nights. It's the architect of our future, crafted not from the bricks and mortar of the world as it is, but from the hopes and dreams of what it could be. To pay the price for your dreams, you must first dare to envision them in vivid color against the backdrop of the monochrome mundane. The price of vision is the courage to dream in the face of skepticism, to plan where there is uncertainty, and to act when action seems futile. But what is vision without the relentless pursuit of purpose? Purpose is the compass that navigates us through the stormy seas, the wind that propels our sails toward the destination we yearn to reach. It is the why behind our what? The core essence that fuels our passion and perseverance. The price of pursuing purpose is often steep, demanding from us a commitment to tread paths uncharted, to scale heights unreached, and to forge depths unexplored. Now, let me uh, weave you a tale of two travelers both setting out under the same starlit sky, each carrying a lantern to light their way. The first traveler holds his lantern close, focusing only on the steps directly ahead. He moves cautiously, avoiding pitfalls, yet his journey is slow, and the beauty of the landscape around him goes unnoticed. His vision is limited to the immediate, his purpose undefined. The second traveler, however, lifts his lantern high, casting light far ahead. His steps are bold, confident, and though he too encounters pitfalls, he sees them not as obstacles, but as opportunities to climb higher. His vision is vast, encompassing the beauty of the journey and the promise of the destination. His purpose is clear, to reach beyond, to discover, to achieve. Be like the second traveler. Lift your lantern high, let your vision illuminate the path to your dreams and let your purpose give you the strength to overcome the challenges that lie in wait. The journey will demand much from you. It will ask you to believe when others doubt, to work when others rest, to persist when others quit. But ah, the arrival, when you finally stand atop the mountain of your aspirations, when you gaze upon the vista of your victories, know this, the view is worth every step, every stumble, every sacrifice. The joy of achieving your dreams, of realizing your vision, and of fulfilling your purpose is a feeling unparalleled. It is a testament to your courage, a monument to your commitment, and a beacon for others who dare to dream. Imagine this journey we're all on, trying to reach our big dreams and goals. It's kind of like going on a big adventure where we face lots of challenges and learn a whole lot on the way. But there's a super important part of this adventure that sometimes we forget. It's about helping others and being part of a team. Think of it like this. You know how one tree standing alone is cool and all, but a whole forest of trees, that's something else. It's beautiful, strong, and supports so much life. Just like that tree, our greatest moments come not from just standing tall on our own, but from growing alongside others, giving them a hand, and making a difference together. So what did it really mean to be part of a community and to give back? 
It's about remembering that we're all connected. It's realizing that when you help someone else, you're not just doing them a favor. You're making the whole team stronger. Stepping out can be big stuff, like starting a project that helps lots of people, or it can be as simple as being kind, listening to a friend, or sharing what you've learned. And you know, giving back is one of the best parts of reaching your goals. It's like when you've climbed to the top of a huge hill and get to look back and see how far you've come. That's awesome, right? But what's even more awesome is turning around and reaching out to help someone else up that hill too. That way, everyone gets to enjoy the view together. Imagine if we all did this, shared our successes, helped each other out, and cheered each other on. We'd be like a giant team where everyone wins. When one of us does well, we all feel good about it. And when someone's having a tough time, we all pitch in to help. That's what makes the journey worth it. Not just the stuff we achieve for ourselves, but the difference we make in each other's lives. Imagine this, this as you've reached your big goal, the one you've been dreaming about and working so hard for. It feels great, doesn't it? But the adventure doesn't stop there. The real magic happens when you turn around and help someone else get to their big dream too. That's like doubling your win. Now why is this so important? Well, think about it. When you help someone, not only do you make their day better, but you also feel pretty awesome yourself. It's like when you share your lunch with a friend who forgot theirs. You both end up smiling, right? Helping others is a win-win. But how can you do this? It's easier than you might think. Start small. Maybe you're really good at math and you've got a friend who's struggling. Spend some time showing them how you tackle those tricky problems. Or perhaps you're a whiz at building model airplanes and you see someone who's new to it looking a bit lost. Why not share some of your top tips? Remember, it's not about doing something huge every single time. It's the little moments of kindness and sharing what you know that add up and make a big difference. And the cool thing is, the more you share, the more you learn too. It's like when you teach someone something, you get even better at it yourself. Plus, you never know when you might need a hand. And there's a good chance someone will, will be there to help you out because you helped them. Now imagine if everyone did this. Think about how many more people would reach their dreams faster and with a big smile on their face. We'd all be part of this awesome cycle of giving and receiving help, making the journey a lot more fun and rewarding for everyone. So as you keep chasing your dreams, remember to look around and see who you can bring along with you. Share your knowledge, lend a hand, and celebrate not just your successes, but everyone's. That's how we all grow and win together. So you're on this journey, right? You've got goals, dreams, and all these awesome places you want to reach. But here's a cool thought. Along the way, you're going to cross paths with a whole bunch of other folks. Some of them might be a little lost or struggling to find their way. This is your chance to shine, not just for you, but for them too. Now imagine you're walking through a big, dense forest. Your journey to your dreams. It's beautiful, but it's easy to get lost. Now, suppose you've got a map that helps you find your way. You could keep that map to yourself and just cruise on through, or you could share it with others you meet along the way. When you share that map, not only do you help others get where they're going, but you might also learn a few new shortcuts from them. Plus, the journey's a lot more fun when you've got company. But here's the thing. Sharing your map, your skills, knowledge, and time isn't always easy. It takes effort. Sometimes you might need to go a bit out of your way to help someone else. But every time you do, you're adding a little more goodness to the world. And goodness has a way of coming back to you, often when you least expect it but need it the most. Let's talk about what this helping out can look like. It could be as simple as being there to listen when someone needs to talk. Maybe a friend's feeling down about not making the team and you're there to remind them of all the other cool stuff they're great at. Or perhaps it's about sharing your excitement about something you love, like painting, coding, skateboarding, or anything else. When you light up talking about your passion, you might just spark something in someone else. They might think, hey, I want to try that too. 
And you know what? The more you share, the more you open yourself up to learning new things. It's like every person you help teaches you something in return. Maybe it's a new way to solve a problem, a different perspective on the world, or even just a cool new book recommendation. But here's a really important point. Helping others and sharing your journey isn't just about making things better for them. It's also about making you a better, stronger, more rounded person. It's like each act of kindness or moment of teaching adds a new tool to your toolbox, a tool you can use on your own journey. Now let's dream big for a moment. Picture a world where everyone's sharing their maps, where everyone's lifting each other up. That's a world where dreams don't just stay dreams. They turn into reality, and then they set the stage for even bigger dream. It's a world where we're not just reaching for the stars alone. We're building ladders together so we can all climb up. So as you move forward, chasing after what you want most, remember, your journey's about more than just where you're going. It's about who you bring along with you, the lives you touch, the people you inspire, and the community you build. Every step you take, every hand you extend, every piece of knowledge you share, it all adds up. It turns your journey into something legendary, something that's about more than just you. It's a beautiful, never-ending cycle of giving, growing, and reaching new heights together. And that, my friends, is the real magic of this adventure we're all on. As we embrace the concept of sharing our journey and lifting others alongside us, let's delve into the power of community even further. Imagine each of us as individual lights like stars in the vast sky. Oh, moan we shine. Together, we illuminate the heavens, guiding lost ships to shore. This is the essence of building a community where every individual contributes to a collective brightness that outshines the sum of its parts. Consider the impact of collaboration. When we pool our talents, knowledge, and resources, we tackle challenges more creatively and effectively than we ever could alone. It's like a potluck dinner where each person brings a dish to share. Alone, you might have a decent meal, but together, you have a feast. This collaboration extends beyond sharing food. It's about sharing ideas, dreams, and the work required to make them a reality. The price of admission to this feast is your willingness to participate, contribute, and engage with an open heart. Now, let's talk about the ripple effect of kindness and mentorship. Imagine you've helped someone understand a concept they've been struggling with. You've not only solved their immediate problem, but also boosted their confidence. This newfound confidence empowers them to tackle the next challenge more boldly, and perhaps to extend a helping hand to someone else in need. Your single act of kindness has started a wave that reaches far beyond the initial gesture, multiplying its impact. But why stop there? Imagine leveraging technology to amplify our ability to connect, share, and support each other. Online platforms can serve as global communities where knowledge, resources, and encouragement are exchanged freely across borders. Here, the potential for growth, learning, and impact is boundless. Your story, your insights, or even your simple words of encouragement can reach corners of the globe you've never visited, touching lives you've never met. Yet in this digital age, let's not forget the power of real-world connections. The magic that happens when people meet face to face, share experiences, or work together on a community project, that's irreplaceable. It's the warmth of a shared laugh, the strength found in a supportive hug, and the energy of collective brainstorming. These moments remind us that while our digital communities are powerful, our physical communities are the bedrock of our human experience. As we venture forth, building and nurturing our communities, both online and offline. Let's strive to create spaces where everyone feels valued, heard, and empowered. Let's commit to being not just members of these communities, but active contributors and caretakers. The beauty of this approach is that as we help others grow, we find ourselves growing in ways we never anticipated. We become more empathetic, more creative, and more connected to the world around us. Each of us holds a piece of the puzzle. Alone, it might not seem like much, but when combined with the pieces held by those around us, 
a beautiful picture starts to emerge. This is the essence of our shared journey. The belief that when one person grows, we all grow. When one person learns, the wisdom enriches us all. Think about the profound impact of sharing not just our successes, but our failures and the lessons they've taught us. It's in our vulnerabilities that we often find our greatest strengths and connect most deeply with others. By sharing the times we've stumbled, the obstacles we faced, and how we've overcome them, we light a path for others who might be facing similar challenges. This openness, this willingness to show our full journey is a gift of hope and encouragement to those who might feel alone in their struggles. Now, let's consider the role of mentors and mentees in this shared journey. Just as a gardener tends to their garden, nurturing each plant to bloom in its own time, a mentor guides their mentees, providing wisdom, support, and encouragement tailored to their unique needs and aspirations. But remember, the relationship between a mentor and a mentee is not a one-way street. It's a mutual exchange where both parties learn and grow. The mentee brings fresh perspectives, energy, and questions that challenge the mentor to reflect, learn, and perhaps even rethink long-held beliefs. Moreover, embracing lifelong learning as a cornerstone of personal development is crucial. The world around us is ever-changing, filled with new ideas, technologies, and opportunities. By committing ourselves to constant learning, we stay adaptable, curious, and open to the endless possibilities that life offers. This commitment to growth becomes infectious, inspiring those around us to embark on their own journeys of discovery and self-improvement. But what does it truly mean to live a life of growth, learning, and sharing? It means waking up each day with a sense of curiosity about what the day will bring and what new lessons await. It's about setting aside time to reflect on our experiences, to savor the joys, to learn from the pains, and to plan our next steps with intention. It's about reaching out to others, not just to offer help, but to seek it, recognizing that we all have something valuable to learn from one another. As we move forward, let's do so with the understanding that our individual successes are not the end goal, but rather stepping stones toward a greater purpose. This purpose is to contribute to a world where knowledge, compassion, and opportunity flow freely, where barriers are broken down, and where dreams are not just personal aspirations, but collective endeavors. This, my friends, is the essence of the journey we're on. A journey that transcends individual achievement and weaves together a tapestry of shared success, growth, and legacy. So let's continue to walk this path together with open hearts and open minds, ever ready to learn, to share, and to uplift one another.